In the final video of the Creating a Wooden Tank video series, we'll talk about touching up any flaws that you might find in the final coat. You should always inspect and touch up the coating as needed. Done correctly, this will ensure a 100% flawless surface. Depending on the size of the tank involved, you can use any of a variety of brushes to touch up. Small poster paint brushes are perfect for this task. No matter how perfect you made the coating the day before, it will more than likely have flaws needing attention today. Small specks of the underlying surface showing through the coating or an edge of the fiberglass that is lifted will all need to be touched up. Start by identifying and sanding the spots that need to be touched up. Use 60 grit sandpaper to rough the area up. There is no need to cut through the coating, just rough up the spot and wipe clean. Use a small brush to touch up the sanded area only. The Pond Shield epoxy can be mixed without alcohol for this procedure. A spot that appears to be see-through should be touched up as well. Remember that the end coating thickness should be at least 10 mils thick. If you can see through the coating, it is probably not thick enough. Look for protrusions caused either by fiberglass fibers standing up in the coating or from wood grain fibers that have lifted. Sand these down to smooth them out and touch up over them. Look for small specks of fiberglass showing through the coating. They should also be sanded and touched up. The cap of the tank would be placed on the top in this manner. The cap aids in keeping the walls from bowing outward as the water weight is put against them. It is advisable to coat the underside of them with pond shield just like you did on the tank's top surface. This will keep the water from wicking into the wood between the seam. Finally, not everyone wants to go through the trouble of fiberglassing the seams of a tank. While fiberglassing it is ultimately one of the strongest ways to achieve a leak-proof tank, as an alternative you can apply a silicone bead on the seams too. Silicone beads like this need to be applied after all of the coating process is complete and touched up. Simply scuff the area where the silicone will be put and wipe clean. Apply a small bead of silicone and finish dress it with your finger. Allow the silicone to cure for the recommended amount of time before moving forward.
After all has been completed, wait 24 hours before adding water and testing the tank. 